And a very special guest has joined us now, Diane Nolan, a former longtime head coach at Fairfield University, former head coach at Lafayette, and assistant at Yale, and most recently for the last two years, the head coach, the head girls uh, basketball coach at Bridgeport Central. Diane, thrilled to be able to have you sitting up here with us. Well, I'm excited to be here. It brings back old memories. Oh, it's a lot, a lot <laughs> of we, we fun had a, that we, we have had. We had some good times at Alumni Hall. Yes, a lot of, of success that you've had I at the college level. I want to hear about level. these good times. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, we might do a half hour right, show no, on your career. That would be a whole different time. <laughs> Connecticut Big Shots. There you go. Uh, down the line. Well, all right, so let's talk about, certainly you're, you're, you're familiar with the, the, the college game. Have you ever seen domination like what we're seeing from the UConn basketball program over the last several years? I mean, it looks like 10 straight years to the Final Four if they make it, which we assume they will. No, uh, absolutely not. It's unprecedented. You know, it, it, it's so much fun to watch, but it is uh, just so different. It's just rarefied air. You know, people uh, all the time when they know I'm from Connecticut, they know our, our background, they say, how does he do it? And, you know, he just is able to do it. He is a master. He truly is, and, and that's why they're so successful. Is it a master in all areas and all phases of coaching and, and getting a team prepared? In, in all phases. He knows exactly what buttons to push. He knows how far to go with them, when to back off. Uh, right now, like everyone always uses all this data and, and heart monitors and all those kinds of things with their, their players. He doesn't. You know, he knows when to back off, when to, to go forward, and just... You know, you can tell by the love he has of all of his former players. So you know he's yeah. doing everything right. When, when you look at this team, and again, it's, it's new people every year. He loses the top three players to the WNBA draft, and he, and he has brought in the next set of All-Americans. Do you have an appreciation? Do you, do you sit back and go, I, I, you know, because you've been on that recruiting trail for, for all of those years. Do you, do you have a, a unique way? Oh, I, absolutely. I mean, when, you, when you walk into a gym and you see Gino, and you'll look and you'll see what, what players he's watching. So a lot of coaches will say, oh, he can't be recruiting her. She's not this and she's not that. He knows exactly the pieces of puzzle, you know, that he wants to put together. And I think that's one of his, his, his best traits. You know, he knows, you know, who's going to play for him, what they can do for that particular program. And he knows who, ca who can take him. You know, th that's something else yeah. also. You, you oh, know, you're right. I mean, yeah. it, it's a 24 you know, seven type of job when you go and play at Connecticut. And not a lot of people want that, but certainly those who do, I mean, look what they get, you know. And, and it, it's just awesome to see, especially this year. I think this year could be his best job. You know, everyone thought this is the year to get him. You know, this is the year I really going to get him. He scheduled away from Gamble, which was really surprising. And I think after the Notre Dame game, I watched the inter uh, post-game interview, and he almost cried. I could see he welled up, and he, he knew he was on to something special. Yeah. And they just, you know, took it to you know, ND on their floor. Yeah. Quinnipiac is, is the other team from the state that is surprising uh, people. I think they were, they were – they said they felt two wins coming on, but to have this team in the Sweet 16 and, and, and Coach Trisha Fabry, who you know well, Coach. I right? certainly you, you do. You coached I, her I when she started. There, here's, a, here's a staff for you. My mother coached her mother. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know that. Yes. Wow. Yes, wow, and my mom awesome. coached her mother uh, in, in high school, so I, you know. Wow. It, yeah, how about that? How it, about that? I mean, did, when you look back at Trisha, did you think that? I mean, what type of player was was she? And she, and she did was you know a, she was, was an undersized post player. So a lot of people passed on her. Believe it or not, she only had two scholarships coming out of high school. You and who else? LaSalle. Oh, wow. Yes, I remember it. And well, it um, couldn't have been a tough. And, so. and, well, you know, she came up and, you know, completely changed our program. You, if you remember, her freshman year at Fairfield was our first appearance in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Best story as, as Trish as a player. Freshman year, we're playing uh, Holy Cross in the semifinals. She takes an elbow, and we have a timeout, and there's blood running down right here, you know. Right after the game, trainer takes her. She gets 13 stitches right up here. Father comes down after the game. Coach, she's playing tomorrow. Don't worry about it. She's playing tomorrow. And she did. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, I mean, surprised. so when you see her yeah. team now, <laughs> yeah. you know, th you play as your coach is, and, and th that's just the way she is. You must be thrilled for her, oh, right? I'm, I'm going I'm, to the Sweet 16. I'm, I'm so excited. We, I caught a lot of her games this year, and she, too, you could tell, had a, has a special team. I mean, they, we say, like, there's an off-Broadway production of UConn. Yeah. You know, they play just like them. Uh, everyone shares the basketball. They led the MAC this year in – nine categories 
number one in nine categories and had no one on first or second I was just going to bring that up. Yeah. Not one first not team one all conference player. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. because uh, no one's like 25 plus, yeah. you know, in the points. They all share the basketball. They, they all or share all the, the responsibilities and duties. And do, I don't know whether you saw the Miami game, but yeah, in really watching sure. the Miami game, people think, okay, we'll press them. And it, her fours and fives can bring the ball up. Yeah. And I think that's what makes them so special. They're so interchangeable. Anybody, you know, can, can be the next girl up and do everything. And that they're hard to beat. Did, did she look at, at what you've done and or what, Dean, what Gino's done to, to get this, develop this program? Well, her gold rush, which she's most noted for now, the five in and five out, it's like a hockey yeah, line. Yeah. She, did, she discovered that when they went to Europe. When they went to Europe, they were over there, and she said, you know, we need to play everybody. You know, we brought everybody over here, so let's play everybody. So she, you know, we're five in, five out. And they were so successful, and they came back, and they thought, oh, this works. You know, and, and that's how she found that. But I, I think, you know, she, and she does it the right way. Her, her kids are true student athletes. They go off a plane from Miami, and they went to class. You know, right. and, and you know, so that it's kind of cool. Real quickly, two years at Bridgeport Central, how, how much fun have you had being a high school coach for the first time? <laughs> I, I, I've had a blast. It's been an adjustment, you know. Uh, you, coach, I can't make practice, I have to go to work. What do you mean, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> but, wow. I mean, I, I've had a blast. You know, and the, the kids are really, really special kids, and, and it's been a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I hope that the girls you coach at Bridgeport Central realize – what, what they had in a coach for the last two years. Oh, and, they're you know, too young to remember yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, well, that's, that's uh, that, you know, that's does, does the thing. phrase white shadow, does that show? Yes, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 hear, I hear that quite often. Yes. <laughs> coach, we thank you so much for coming in and, 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 and sharing some knowledge. We, we, we hope you'll come in more and talk some basketball with us. Well, I, I'd love to, and, and good luck, and this is really cool. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Great to have you. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back talk a little more basketball here on CT Sports Now.